Hi everybody, this is Kayla, and today I'm going to make three simple holiday drinks for Christmas season. Okay, so the first drink we're making is like a holiday hot tea, and what it is is it's going to be just a plain Lipton tea with some cranberry juice in it and a sweetener if you'd like, um, garnished with cranberries and some fresh mint. So I'm excited to try this, and it sounds so good, and I feel like the pop of the green and the red is gonna be perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pick a mug. I'm gonna pick my favorite mug. <laughs> the kids got this for me for Christmas last year. Isn't that cute? So we're gonna put it right here. I'm gonna open my tea bag. So all you need to make this is the Keurig, and we love this. We use our Keurig several times a day between me and Gabe, and it's really nice. It has just the basic um, small, medium, large cup size. Turn it on and you just open this, put your K-cup in and shut it. My favorite part about this Keurig is the old one that we had, um, the power button was in the back so you had to always like reach all the way around the counter. But this one is up on front so it's perfect. So we're just using hot water for this one so we're not going to put anything in here. I'm just going to shut it and I'm going to turn it on the medium size cup. I want to leave room for some cranberry juice. All right, so the tea just finished. We're gonna let that steep for just a minute. You can see the color in there. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna take this tea bag out. I'll sit right there. And we're going to add, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar first, because I know cranberry juice is pretty tart, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna add some cranberry juice. The nice thing about this drink is you could make it in a larger, Add about that much. You can make it in a lot larger pot if you have a big group of people coming over, but mostly for us, we just have like a couple families and a few tea drinkers, a few coffee drinkers, so this is perfect for us. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take some fresh mint and I'm gonna tear off some of the leaves. Um, when you like rub the leaves, notice that you can smell it a lot better. Mm, smells good. So it kind of releases the um, smell and the taste into the tea, which is what we want. So I'm just gonna kind of it up a little bit. Yum, this smells so good. I love peppermint. So now we have our mint in there and I'm gonna put a few cranberries in. You can eat them if you want, but they're all kind of just garnished. Doesn't that look so pretty? I'm gonna mix it up just to make sure that sugar got mixed up in there and infuse the flavor of the mint leaves. Okay, so first of all, I really have to say, I know I already said this, but the color of the green and the red berries in here, or the green and the red in this tea, it really is so perfect for Christmas. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna try this, and I'm really hoping that I put enough cranberry juice in it not to burn my tongue. Ooh, I like that. I feel like the thing about this tea is the longer it sits, the more the mint is gonna infuse in here. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more sugar just because I like it sweet. This is perfect and it's something the kids can have too. Yum, I love that. It's so comforting. I feel like this would be perfect for after a big meal. Okay, so the second drink here, we're not gonna use a Keurig. We're just gonna use these things. It's gonna be a fruity drink, kind of like a sangria, but without the alcohol. All right, so what we're using for this is we're using an orange, a lime, a lemon, um, and you can kind of use any citrus fruits that you have. And then we have some sparkling apple grape and we have just some apple juice. And I'm using frozen apples. You can use fresh ones, but I thought it would be kind of instead of ice cubes to keep the drink cold, the frozen apples would add a nice touch. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and cut these citrus fruits. So I'm using Martinelli's because I know that this is always gonna be good. We use this every year for holidays, for Christmas and Thanksgiving. It's kind of the treat when we were kids and now it's the treat for our kids. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this fruit in first and then I'm gonna add the Martinelli's and then this um, tree top, tree top apple juice. I think I'll do two of each. I feel like that'll be good. It's gonna be nice and bright and cheery. I'll put a lime in here, a lemon. And I'm gonna put a couple pieces of frozen apple. 
I feel like that's probably, probably a good amount. All right, perfect. I have the fruit in there and I'm gonna pour the Martinelli's. Ooh, that fizz. I feel like honestly, it would be completely fine just like that, but I'm gonna add a little bit of apple juice. See if I can do it without spilling. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix it up a tiny bit. Oh, this is so cute. This is so cute, I love this. Oh my goodness. I'm all about the cute drinks. I mean, if you can make it look fancy and it was this easy, why not? Okay, I'm gonna try this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have Gabe try all of these at the end and see which one he likes best. This is so good. And I feel like the longer it sits with the fruit in there, if you had them prepared ahead of time, it would just be even better. All right, so our third and final drink for the holiday season. This is going to be a peppermint mocha, which sounds delicious and it's perfect for Christmas, especially since we all have these candy canes lying around. <laughs> Okay, so I went to the store and I wanted to find a mocha K-cup that would work well with the Keurig. And I grabbed the Starbucks one because you can always count on the Starbucks brand to be good. So let's open this up and stick it in the Keurig. There we go, got the mocha. I'm gonna grab a mug. I'm stick it down. All you do is that and push the button and you wait. Okay, so the coffee just finished and this could go really well with even just hot chocolate too. Okay, so a couple of things here. First, we have these little peppermint candies. You can use any candy cane that your kids got from Santa. You can use any candy canes you have lying around the house. I know if you have kids, you have these laying around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smash these up to, cream, to crinkle them up on the top for garnish. So I'm gonna grab a cutting board and I'm gonna grab a little Ziploc bag just to make it so it's not as messy. Okay, kind of st <laughs> sticking in there. All right, we're gonna shut this and you can just use anything that will, um, you can hit on this. I'm gonna use my sugar shaker. You can use a hammer, a mallet. Perfect. Now these are all crunched up. I'm gonna put them back in the bowl. And I'm done with this cutting board. Okay, perfect. So we have our little peppermint candies all crunched up. How cute. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some milk. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. I hadn't seen it until about six months ago. This is a cold milk frother. So it's not supposed to be for hot milk from my understanding. Um, but you, all you do is you fill up your milk to this little line right here. And then you just use this and, and froth the milk up. And it's so awesome. I didn't realize you could do that to cold milk. So. We're gonna put our milk in. So we're gonna fill it up to the line, right about there. Perfect. So remember there is mocha flavoring in the coffee, so there is chocolate in there already. And now we're going to put this lid on here and watch as it froths up. So I just go up and down a few times. You can see how much bigger it's getting. You can get it as frothy as you want. I feel like that is about good. So I'm gonna take this, this off. All right, so you can see how frothy that milk is. I'm gonna pour this milk on top of our mocha and then top it with some sprinkles. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I'm gonna top it with a few cute little sprinkles. Yum! Oh, this looks so good. I love coffee. Ask anybody, I love coffee. I love peppermint, I love milk, and I love froth, so this is so perfect for me. I'm just gonna mix it up a tiny bit. Make sure 
the coffee cools down on the bottom. Look at all of that froth, you see that? That's so amazing. My life has changed <laughs> since I started using this. I feel like I have a fancy cup of coffee just at home. It's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna try this. That's really good. <laughs> I'm on my face. Mmm, I love the bubbles. That It just makes it feel so fancy. You can taste a little bit of the peppermint in there. You can get the mocha coffee on the bottom. It's not too sweet. It's perfect. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below for this. I love this. It's called the froth o -matic, but I love this. It's so easy, and all you do is you just rinse it off afterwards, and it's ready to go for the next time you want to use it. Life-changing, fancy coffees at home, guys. Overall, I love all of these drinks, and the thing that I love about them is most of this stuff around the holiday season, you're gonna have around your house anyways. I like that they're all different, it gives you a good variety, and you can pick and choose this one you like. If you use one of these recipes, um, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know if you guys used them and what you thought. If I had to pick my favorite one, I would probably pick this one, this little mock sangria. I love that it looks so fancy and it's so festive. I love the red colors and it's so delicious and refreshing. I do love this tea. I feel like I love the colors in this tea and I just, I love coffee. So, but I would have to say it's my favorite. If you guys try them, let me know which one is your favorite. I love that the only tools that I used to make all of these drinks was the Keurig and this milk frother. If you want to find out more information about these, the link will be in the description down below.